Can't see it too well, but there's a really big crane over there. And here I'm on the, the rocks. There's sticks and stuff in between because the, sometimes the uh, tide comes out really, really high. But I'm going to try to walk down it. And still I smell that beautiful salt smell. And this is just a, like a runoff, you know. Not man-made, it's a natural runoff in the mountains. And over here is C-SPAN. It's a, a shipping company. Or it, it's, I don't know what it does. But they look quite, quite active. So I'm going to walk on these dangerous stones here with muscles and things on them and try to get around the corner and show you the rest. I'm so happy I had a nice uh, computer today. And so I'm going to be uh, on the internet. I pick up my computer at 8 because they have to format it and fix it and stuff. But I'll be, have my own computer instead of boring somebody else. And I can upload videos and I can reply to lots and lots of email that I'm getting since I moved here. And I need it for my work as well. I've been really like, I've been doing as much work as I can, but I'm very limited without access to my, to a computer or internet. 1,500 gigabytes I can't access, but now I can once I uh, hook up my computer about 9 o'clock tonight. Okay, let me get down to the water here. If you see me fall, then it'll be recording, so that's kind of cool. Water's really fresh, but I wonder if it's the salt water. Pretty, huh? Pretty and peaceful, and like I'm like the only person here. I'm really n not not used to it being so quiet. So uh, keeping busy is very important. Another another reason why I really need my uh, computer, my notebook, is that I got to keep writing my uh, my script because I have to submit it by the very latest, the end of October. So I've got to finish that, I've got to format it. Now I can do that kind of stuff. So I have so much stuff to do. It's hard to relocate to another country after living somewhere for so long. And I think my jet lag's almost gone. And uh, now I just have to get my rhythm. And uh, I'll probably really be going by the time I move into my new place, which is on the August 1st. And then I'll be I'll be really cooking. I miss, uh, somebody said, what do you miss most about Korea? Well, I don't really miss Korea yet, but I miss the Korean food. And if I ever want to talk to somebody, um, there's loads of Koreans who live here. But I want to start cooking Korean. I'm not, not a bad Korean cook, but once I pick up my rice cooker this afternoon or tomorrow and get my new place, then I can start cooking. But the place I'm staying now, they don't like the smell of Korean food, so shame on them and I won't be cooking until I'm out of there. So, goodbye from 345. This is not really my point of view. I don't really have any opinion, and this was never intended to be like my political opinion, but it's just kind of my my, point of, my POV meaning. Uh, the, posi the position I am of the camera looking out. So have a wonderful day in Vancouver. And I said in my last video clip, it was the 9th, but it's actually the 10th. It's uh, July 10th. Have a wonderful day and I'll be in touch soon, my friends. Miss you all from beautiful Vancouver. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.